Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Mando, and I'd love to tell you about Fuchs dystrophy and its surgical correction through corneal transplantation. The cornea is the most common transplant performed in the United States. The majority of those transplants are done to correct Fuchs dystrophy. Historically, surgeons would replace the full thickness of the cornea, despite the issue of Fuchs dystrophy being limited to the inner lining of the cornea. Advancements over the years have allowed thinner and more focused transplantation to occur. The primary procedure we perform today is DMEC. DMEC is a one-to-one -one transplantation of the problematic layer of the cornea known as the endothelium. The advantage to only transplanting the inner lining of the cornea is that visual recovery and ultimate visual outcome is vastly superior to the days of full thickness corneal transplantation. DMEC is one of the most common surgeries that I perform, and in addition to cataract surgery, it is one of my favorite parts about being a cornea trained ophthalmologist. Once scheduled for your evaluation, we recommend that you bring a family member or trusted friend to the appointment. We find it's helpful to have the support system with you to help you make the decisions required to address your surgical needs and ultimately improve your vision. You may need a driver if you feel uncomfortable driving after your eyes have been dilated. Please come prepared to discuss your visual symptoms and your concerns that you have with your eyes, along with any questions that you may have for the doctor. To perform the tests necessary to evaluate your vision and make the proper recommendations for your eyes, your initial evaluation will take approximately 90 minutes. Often, Fuchs dystrophy is noted when patients also have visually significant cataracts. Fortunately, with advancements in care, you still may be able to experience a premium cataract experience despite your Fuchs dystrophy. This can allow for greater glasses independence in comparison to the standard lens cataract surgery. After your exam, you will meet with one of our surgical counselors who will help you schedule the recommended procedures. They will help you review the doctor's recommendations so that you can be clear on what to expect before, during, and after surgery. You will have plenty of time to have all of your questions answered so that you can make a well-informed decision that's right for you. The counselor will also review with you the information you need on how to prepare for the surgery along with the post-operative care and appointments. If we are cooperating with your primary eye doctor, the counselor will explain how we will coordinate this during your post-operative period. So this is your eyeball cut in half. The cornea is the clear window that's on the front of your eye. Your retina is back here in the back of your eye. The color part of the eye, the iris, are these lines. And then the hole in the middle is your pupil, the part we dilate here in clinic. Behind the pupil is a lens. The lens you can think of like a peanut m and It has a candy coat shell, chocolate layer, peanut layer. When you get older, the peanut layer becomes cloudy, and that is a cataract. With Fuchs dystrophy, the problem is related to the back lining of your cornea. And on the back lining of the cornea, there's a layer of cells called endothelial cells. You can think of endothelial cells like pumps. The space between the cells is leaky, and the cornea behaves like a sponge. It pulls that fluid in and it swells, and these cells are responsible for taking and pumping that fluid back into the front chamber of the eye. The number of these cells is limited in everybody, they go down when we have birthdays and when we have surgeries like cataract surgery. With Fuchs dystrophy, you're losing these cells at a faster rate. And so you can reach a point where you have more fluid going into your cornea than you are capable of pumping out. And that results in your cornea swelling and your vision worsening. To fix this, I do a procedure called DMEC, where I cut out the back layer of your cornea and I transplant in from a donor the same layer of tissue. I put a big gas bubble inside the eye so that while you're laying flat in the post-operative area, that bubble floats up, it presses that graft against your cornea. Once that graft sticks, it contains healthy pump cells that pump the fluid out of the cornea. During the period of time that you have a gas bubble inside the eye, fluid is typically made back here in the back of the eye and travels through this space. And I block that with the gas bubble. And so a week or two prior to your surgery, I use a laser and I put a tiny little hole in your iris to help regulate the pressure inside the eye. Once we get the graft to stick, the graft pumps and clears the cornea and you notice an improvement in the quality of your vision. Here at Clear Vision, we're confident we can help you successfully navigate through your corneal transplant surgery. We are passionate about providing patients the opportunity to change their vision and lifestyle through surgery. Welcome to Pacific Clear Vision Institute we look forward to taking care of you.